Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. Alrighty then, we're all hooked up to our database. Next, we need a model, a class that can create objects that represent table rows. In other words, we need a class where each object it spits out represents one row in our video table. And this is going to go in the data folder of our project. So right click that and choose Add Class. And now typically what you want to do is name this class with an uppercase first letter and the exact name of what each object represents. And in this case, that's one video. Click Add and you get a kind of a skeleton class that looks like this. So now this class needs an attribute for each field or each column in the underlying table. Let's open up SQL Server Object Explorer and peek inside that database at our table again for a reminder. It's Blazor Dapper CRUD and the table name is Video. And the columns are here. So basically our class just needs to represent that, one of each record of that. So inside the class we can uh, use a code snippet by typing prop prop and pressing tab twice. And that gives us that line and then uh, we don't have to change the int. But the first one is called video ID. Watch your uppercase, lowercase letters. You uh, don't want to make any mistakes here. And I think the other field is called title and then it's a var car or var char, whatever, however you like to pronounce it. It stands for variable length character field. Something like that. Anyway, here you just have to say string because we're talking about C sharp dot net types here, not uh, SQL data types. And so that's a string and it was title with a capital T. And this, the uppercase, lowercase I'm using here is all pretty standard. So you want to follow suit on that. And all this stuff is very case sensitive. So do be careful of that. Um, we have a date published. That's a date, a SQL date. Actually, .NET doesn't have a date, so what we're going to have to do is call this a date time, and we'll handle the uh, time later on. So it's a uh, object, really, but that's okay. Public date time, we call that date published, and then I think I added a bit field too, so that's a boolean in uh, C sharp .NET. So I uh, will do prop tab tab bool, and then um, what was it? Uh, is active. Okay, so that's it. We have a class named video, and each attribute of that class matches a field in the table, but we have to use similar data types int, string for the title, date time for date published, and a Boolean for the SQL bit. All right, uh, we don't really need to be looking at SQL Server Object Explorer anymore, but let's go ahead and do build, build solution, see what we get. Drum roll, and we get build one succeeded, zero failed, so we're cool. I'll close that, let's run the whole thing and see if we get all the way to the browser. We haven't done anything that changes the appearance of the site, we're just checking for errors here, and it did start, so uh, we should be good. Um, let's uh, go ahead and uh, close anything up you have left open and uh, exit out of Visual Studio if you want to and we'll pick it up in the next lesson. See you there.